Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Today I'm going to be sharing one of my favorite distance learning tools and that's Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a video discussion platform that empowers student voice. One of the biggest challenges while students are not able to physically come into the classroom is the social component of interacting with their peers in an academic context. Flipgrid also enables teachers to keep standards high by facilitating in high educational objectives such as evaluating and creating. So let's get started by logging in. Up the top here, we have an educator login button and we're able to log in or sign up. Once we're logged into Flipgrid, we're led to the discussion page. The discussion page has all of our groups, which are our classes. It also has all of the topics that you've posted in the classes as well. Let's go ahead and create a new group. We're then led to this form to fill in. You can create a private group or a public group. Flipgrid does recommend that you create a private group for your class to protect the information. If you're using this out of a class context, then go ahead and create a public link, which is a lot easier to fill in. So let's go ahead and make a private group. We'll just call this one demo and you'll have a join code as well. Um, this is usually just your surname and a couple of numbers after it. You can change this as well. So let's write demo Flipgrid class and make sure that it's available for you to use. You can then go ahead and add students. You can add students via email or create usernames for them. I'll just go for the email option. Click next, and then you can type in some email addresses and create a password for families and guests to join the group as well. Once you've created a link, you can go ahead and copy that into Google Classroom or your learning management system to share the link with your students. Here is our demo grid. You can also add a co-pilot, which is another teacher who is also able to add topics and interact on your grid. You can also go ahead and edit this image within your grid by pressing this button over here and scrolling down. And there's quite a lot of images to choose from. Okay, so here we are. The next step is to start a discussion by creating a topic for your students. So let's go ahead and press the add topic button. As I've mentioned earlier, I do like using Flipgrid to enable students to achieve high order objectives. So for this topic, I'm going to choose maths and I'm going to ask students to teach their peers how to solve two step equations. So up here, I'm going to write two step equations in the title. And for the prompt, I'm going to say, choose a two step equation from the exercises or you can create your own and teach how you would solve this equation okay let's go ahead and scroll down the recording time is defaulted to be one minute 30 seconds we can scroll down and add media if we like we, we can record a video of ourselves explaining the topic or you can just go for an emoji or gif or image so i'm going to go for a gif and i'm going to type smart and just choose one of these gifs and let's go ahead and create this topic so here is our topic and we're all set to go let's press all set this is the student view and students will be able to see the prompt as well as responses from other people in their classroom. They can also use the immersive reader, which will read out the prompt for them. So let's go ahead and record a response. Students will then be led to this recording page where if they click the big red button on the bottom, they'll start the recording. On the top right corner, they can go ahead and review the topic. They can add a sticky note into their video as well. And if they've got a video on their computer already, they can go ahead and upload that directly onto Flipgrid by going into options and uploading clip. You can mirror the video, mute yourself, record your own screen and add effects as well. So in terms of effects, there's a bunch to choose from. We'll just go into filters. They can add some fun filters over here. They can pixelate themselves if they'd like. We can add a frame, add an emoji. So this typically can be put around the video or it can be over a face as well if they're a little bit shy. So while they're speaking, this emoji is not going to be moving around. Let's go ahead and delete that. And students can also use the board function, which allows them to draw all over the board and describe a concept. So let's go ahead and draw. And we'll just write, hi, okay. 
and students can also add a photo into their video as well. Once students have created their recordings, you can go ahead back into your group and into the topic. So let's go into two-step equations. Scroll down and you'll be able to see some responses. So here I've just got one response. Let's go into this one. Scroll down and you're able to leave a comment for the students. Students can also comment on each other's videos. And if you'd like to give some private feedback, just go into this tab over here. You can record the feedback. You can even do a rubric or you can leave a private comment. So this comment just goes directly to the student. So let's write testing over here. You can copy the feedback link or you can email the feedback directly to the student. Let's move on to take a look at some other features of Flipgrid. So let's go into the second tab over here, which is discovery. So discovery allows you to take a look at what some other teachers around the world are doing and add their discussions into your own as well. So let's scroll all the way down so we can see topic of the day and there are some um, topics over here. We can go ahead and view it and you'll be able to read the um, prompts on the left-hand side as well. So we can choose one that we'd like to use. So let's go ahead to the get to know me. Let's click on this one. And just taking a look at the instructions, we're saying meet your classmates and in 90 seconds, share three things about yourself and so forth. We can go ahead and add this into our demo group. So we go to demo next. And you're able to customize this to suit your own classroom as well. So I'm quite happy with all of this. I'm just going to go ahead all the way to the bottom and add this into my grids. So here I have this added and I can go ahead and share that to my class. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other features that Flipgrid offers. So the next one is activity. It allows you to stay updated with all of your engagements with Flipgrid and your accomplishments as well, which is really nice. You can also share these accomplishments on your social media accounts, such as Twitter, and your blog. And the next one on the list is mixtapes, which allows you just to curate collections of videos that you've used within your topics. The next one is shorts, which allows you to record videos and just keep them there using the Flipgrid camera. And the last on the list is grid pals, which allows you to connect with other teachers that also are using Flipgrid. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you got some ideas on how you can get started with using Flipgrid. And if you've got more ideas, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Class Notes for more videos like this in the future. Until next week, see you later and have a good day. Bye. Thank you.